So, hello all and welcome to Artists Live View Stream channel. I'm Terhi Koskinen from Finland and guesting today. I'm doing a mixed media layout and focusing on the background. We are using some mists and water and brush. That's it. But it takes some time and let's see what we get. I'm turning the camera now, so don't be nervous if you see something weird for a while. No weird things at the moment, just me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Oh, not okay. Better? Yes. Uh, I have light coming up uh, straight up behind the camera, so uh, these shiny photographs are getting some um, getting too lighty, bright. So I try to keep them like this. Okay, so we are starting with blank page. Um, this is white cardstock from from 13 arts. I'm just looking at the chat. There is Evelyn, Evelinka, Evelina. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Uh, so we are starting with white cardstock and Prima Gesso. This is clear Gesso, which is my favorite. Uh, favorite because it's so light and it's so easy to apply and it dries quickly and it doesn't um, uh, let the wet mediums come off from the background. Uh, I'm taking my palette knife which is a new one. This is quite large so it's good for spreading large areas. Um, Still, I don't have heat gun, but I'm prepared, just like last time. So I'm uh, spreading the gesso all over the page. Uh, this is nice gesso, this is so uh, liquid, uh, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of texture you have on your uh, cardstock. Uh, this one, this actual one has uh, this kind of wooden texture on it, but uh, this is so liquid that the uh, texture will show lately, late, late, later, sorry. Sometimes I do two layers, ring layers, sometimes one thicker. Sometimes only one thin layer. Um, it's just that when we are about to use some uh, paints, uh, no paints, mists, in a while it takes, um, it spreads up differently. Taking a baby wipe to clean my My palette knife. This is another reason I love using this gesso as it is so clean, clean to use. So it's all gesso now. Is that a verb? Gesso. <laughs> anyway, I got a thin layer of gesso now, and I let it dry naturally. Uh, I do it even if I have a heat gun because it doesn't get so curl, cur curly this page. So I'm putting this away and making another one ready here. Ta-da! It's dry. As you see it's totally matte. It doesn't have any um, sheen on it. It's totally matte and ready to get some some color. Uh, I'm using 13 Arts Mists. These are Chalk Indigo, uh, Pearl Blue 
and 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 chalk blue light and then we have water fresh water from Finnish lake or whatever then we are taking a brush not from my hair but from my holder uh, you can use any kind of brush you wish uh, I'm preferring this uh, I have no idea what the word is, but if I say it in Finnish, suippokärkinen, maybe Riikka can tell you what it is in English. Um, you can use flat ones also, anything. The point we are doing with this is uh, flicking water, so smaller brush, smaller drops, bigger brush, bigger drops. I'm using the bigger at least first. Uh, uh, I'm first taking some water and flicking it to the places I'm going to want or, or where I'm wanting to have my colors. Uh, if you wish to uh, have the whole page colored then just do for one uh, about half page. Um, let it put it another way. Uh, if you want to have whole page colored, um, spread the water around here because it will spread around a lot. So I'm making some drops first kind of to wet the paper but uh, I'm not painting with the brush because it would look quite different. Then I'm taking the first puddle. This is all sticky. I did my mixed media pony a few weeks ago and these are <laughs> all colored still. So I'm taking the mist like this and then dropping. You can see already that the color when it uh, hits the water drop it will spread. And that's what we want. This will take some time to do this, but oh, it's so mm, satisfying to see it. So I'm making this kind of um, what's it? What is it called? Salmiakikuvio, some kind of pattern or shape. Then I'm just adding more water. To see how it will spread. Like this. It's kind of light in the in this uh, screen right now, but it's already quite dark and I can't lift it for you to see closer, but um, I hope you see how uh, for example here the color spreads and leaves uh, this kind of natural look. Uh, I'm diamond pattern! Thank you Rika! I, I can't live without you. You should move to live with us. Ha! <laughs> okay another color. This is a bit darker. This is a uh, sky blue pearl mist, so it has something shiny in it, which I like. Diamond shape. How did I not get that? Okay, just adding here and there. Uh, if you are wondering why I'm not putting in the middle, the answer is the photograph is going to be there. So if you see uh, um, places where are only the mists, then add some water to spread it. And I can keep on doing this like forever. It takes a lot of time to try, so you have a lot of time to do this. Simple as that. I'm adding also 
also indigo blue, which is kind of green blue, not turquoise, but it has something uh, green or gray in it. And Riikka, yes, I love you too. Okay. Uh, the secret of doing this kind of background is that you need take your time and you need to give time to natural drying. You can't use the same background for like two hours or so. If you use heat gun, the uh, wind from the gun will spread it completely differently and it will be completely different. Uh, just a minute. No, let me see the chat. Hello, Katka. Hello, Terry. Good name for you. Almost like mine. Okay, so this was uh, Delusions ink, ink Spray London Blue. I like it because it's blue and because it's London blue and I love London. Uh, it's actually just one year ago when we were in London with my husband. It's our wedding anniversary today, eight years together. And he is still my best friend. Sitting right next to me at the moment. So... I'm adding this. If you had your uh, wrist um, sick or something, don't do this then because you need your hand. Can't do this without your wrist. So if you see some points um, too light at the moment or too dark, then just add some mist or add some water but don't add too much liquids it already has started to gather around here 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 and here and in a couple of hours there is a little lake just about here and because it needs to be dried naturally it will turn out just about like this and when I said it will be a little lake around here, it will be just about this later, or this. But oh my, I love that pattern. So, uh, I think we need to continue a little bit. I will show you this uh, on our Facebook page and on my blog tomorrow, when this is dried because it will look completely different. Then you can take from <laughs> the lake some, some color and spread it here and there. Carefully take the color like this and then just flick it. Some water. Also. Okay, I'm moving this. Just wait a minute. Moving this to other table. Emergency situation. And it's there. So, ta -ta 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 -ta, this is when it's dry. No, it's not. Uh, I did this yesterday. And I really love when it gets to be uh, all still, not moving. It gets this really crisp edge around these little uh, drops and splashes. I really recommend you to try this one. Okay, then let's do some preparations for our title which is going to be hello channel which is going to be a wooden one from Evolutious happy day also we have one embellishment which will be this kind of feather 
cut out from 30 knots paper. Uh, I don't have this kind of punch in my hole. I, if I remember right, this was Rika's punch from Fiskars, this better one. Anyway, anything will do. But we are taking uh, ink here and a makeup sponge. And we are, uh, as I said, with that other background, I don't mind if here is uh, white areas because I will get my paper layers there. There, so <laughs> this is going to my, be my um, waste paper area at the moment. I'm doing this inking right here. You can use any ink, or you can do it with paint. Um, I kind of love the way it looks when it it's inked with this stamping ink because it's totally matte. Of course you can spray any mists on it. This is quite thick wood, so you can color it with anything. Even with a black marker it will do. Yes, Rika is saying this was Fiskar sponge. And I'm inking the edges of the weather. 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 Not weather. Weather is outside. Okay. Uh, just to make sure this feather pops up, pops out. No, I'm not putting that ink away, but the sponge is going to away. Let them be here. And then we are moving to stamping. Uh, this is distressed, distressed chicken wire stamp. I'm so sorry you have to listen to my <laughs> weird talking. Uh, this is from Creative Embellishment, which, which is a um, US-based um, manufacturer which makes a lot of chipboards and some stamps and some flare patterns. I was in their design team uh, last winter, so this was my totally favorite stamp. It's a background stamp and it fits like for everything. Uh, I'm adding in ink here and there, and I'm also adding this stamping here and there. This pattern keeps going. You can make it really uh, exact pattern or like here just here and there something black on the background also gives some nice details as you see i'm not using the whole area just some part parts of it like this i think it's okay maybe something to here to this big lake, almost like sea. Yay! Maybe even more. Like that. Okay. And then uh, the rest of this layout will be really, really simple. Uh, you can use the, some stencil work here, maybe with inks, maybe with mists, maybe with some. Um, pastes, modeling paste or something, but today I'm going to make quite simple look and that's why I'm not adding too much much different textures here and I really want these crisp edges to show off. Oh Joanna, thank you for um, saying my English is excellent. I really don't feel so today. I had to meet a vegetarian animal doctor um, today and he spoke only English and Spain and my English uh, words are like for this, crafting. <laughs> And to explaining of, about my sick horse was kind of <clears throat> annoying, kind of not my thing, but I hope he gave us the right medicines. So, sorry about the light. 
uh, let me see the chat okay you are talking about big brush pens right you keep talking there I'm doing my thing okay uh, this is me and my girls in this picture we were having a little uh, visit in my grandma's place and how fun is it to lie down under an apple tree super fun I'm trimming the picture to be exactly the size I want and this is actually a piece of uh, 39 art mental vacation summer snow paper and I'm doing it a little bigger just a little bigger than the photograph is to kind of give a frame to the photo but not to exact I'm using this bigger scrap later so here it is and then I'm using some other 13 inch papers this is uh, designed by Olga Heldwain. This is Color Basic collection. It's not surprising that this paper name is black because it's black. Haha! -ha. And we have another gorgeous paper. This is Begasus uh, from Starlight collection from 13 Arts. Uh, as many manufacturers, uh, I like that the fact that these different collections go so well together. I'm mixing three collections today. And as you see, I'm just making some, some scraps. No any big plan or nothing. Um, I'm not measuring anything, just making scraps. <clears throat> Some might say leftovers are good for this use, but I do leftovers to, <laughs> to do this thing. Uh, this was... let me see... This is also the Riyadh. This is Fly Away collection, which is quite old collection from Berlinas. and maybe some paper slices I hope I got my stapler downstairs now I think we need more blue because our background is totally blue so we need something more blue and this mental vacation paper is perfect for being blue of course, I'm adding something else blue later, like this. Okay, I'm not putting the paper trimmer too far away. So, if my photograph goes here, this is the part I'm planning to lay out, really. I'm not thinking about it when I do the background. Uh, and the title would be on the picture. And this tiny little feather would be here. Hello, feather. And I had some uh, prima flower somewhere. Don't remember where it was. If my voice sounds uh, weird, it, it's because I'm standing now. And just a moment ago, I was sitting. So I got this doily. I think it was from Boo Bunny or something. Nice eye in the middle. Ah, you mean this? Yes, <laughs> it's made from a uh, feather or title. Don't remember which one. Okay, so I'm starting to plan my layers. This doily wants to peek out from the upper left corner and we want some black frames around it lots of black uh, cutting this uh, paper just 
small, 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 small. Okay, let me say again. Uh, this blah 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 blah. This paper, which is a little bigger than the photograph, is good here for help me to uh, set these papers the way I want them to be. I'm starting with the bigger ones and then I'm going to add the smaller, sm smaller ones. Uh, stapler is my uh, gift from the sky right now. I'm st I staple these together. Don't know the right word. Even if even if I cry, well, let's see. Okay, some more scraps for like everywhere. Layer after layer and after layer. This is the point I need my scissors. They're here. Don't want this to be the big. Uh, I don't mind if the staplers are visible. I actually like if they are visible. I try to avoid uh, using black over black because you can then uh, you can't see the layer. Also like here is a point where uh, blue meets blue. So we need something there. This kind of little, little, tiny scrap will do the difference perfectly. Also, if you go there, no, this might take a while. Take your tea and calm down. Mostly. Okay, now I need some black over here, right? You can disagree with me, but I'm right. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Now, how does it look now? If I put a bare picture here, this doily kind of softens this uh, kind of rough look of black and this distressed chicken wire stamping and things like that. So it will do quite good. Uh, I'm turning this like um, up upside down because it's too bright for you. Uh, maybe next time I'm getting some kind of lights from the side. Okay, next phase is to prepare our frames, kind of frames. I will show you. This is a bedding wire. This is the layout I made for sample. Here is going round and round and round. This kind of thing. And as you see, this is uh, this is like iron wire, but much thinner. Um, it's kind of hard to get that circle to be done. But I'm having my double-sided tape roll, which is quite uh, quite wide, and rolling around it. Let me see the chat again. I love the layers there. Okay. Yay! Me too! That's the point of my crafting. Never do this with scissors, but I just did. Now my hobby... Uh, blah, blah. Husband keeps looking at me so angry. He thinks I shouldn't use my favorite scissors to cut this kind of thread. So we are doing two loops, quite big loops. As you see, the photo is here, a little bigger. 
like this and then I'm making some kind of lock over here. This might take some <coughs> nerves and some kind of uh, weapon to make it perfect but I don't have things like that so I'm using my fingers to do that. And as you probably can see it's not even. Uh, let me show you what I mean like this. If I put it uh, against the paper it pops up. So it needs to be uh, part uh, under some layers. So, oopsie, when my photo gets here, I need to put this uh, frame thing a uh, little under one edge of the picture or something, or then put uh, something next to it, like the title, to keep it down. But first we are adding this, this set of papers to the background. Let me just table this little piece of paper to here. It's going to run away. Okay, this staple will be visible. So let's do some cross over there. Haha, -ha. now it looks better. So, double-sided tape. You can use glue or gel matting or 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 or, or glue or gel medium or something. And you're talking about scissors, right? These are from Friskars and these are the best scissors I've ever seen or used. Seen because they are so cute with those colors and good because they are so sharp. I don't, uh, I haven't uh, used any sharpener, what's the word, uh, for that for like forever and I have had those for four years now. So here's double-sided tape but before adding this we need to add my secret weapon. Someone said it before and I use it in my every page. I know, can't help it. It's my thread and it's lost. Where is my book? Almost. So this is sewing thread thin sewing thread uh, blue. This time you can use any color you wish and you have. Uh, it doesn't show much but it will show something, some parts. It is thread, yes. What did I say? Sewing thread. It's thread, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But thread can be the uh, thicker one, or is it then some wool thread, or string, or something? Okay, I need some English lessons. And as I'm using also the thread, not sewing thread, under the paper layers, I'm adding a few drops of glue just to make sure it will stick. And then I'm adding this right here, like this. And it's good. Now I only wonder if I should add one more piece of paper to behind the picture. It, it might look good. I'll do that. I'm taking the blue edge here. Let's string that up. Hello Karen, nice to see you. 
I'm so glad you came. I missed you so much. So welcome aboard. I'm doing a layout. Hey, Christine, my creator smile master, my one of my biggest paper crafting idols, Christine from Creator Smile is there. So I'm trying to breathe and continue, even though I'm now shaking and so excited. So, as we did before this frame thing, it needs to be secured between layers. So these are going to get some some adhesive, adhesive. What's the word? Only thing I'm saying today is, what's the word, Rika? But Rika is so used to it. But I don't think she minds because she is going to see me this week. So probably she doesn't hate me. Okay, these are the layers. And let's see. I put it here. No, need to be more visible. And the other one. No, like this. But it needs something to keep there. These wires are tough one to beat, but I will make it. Now I'm taking these securing things of whatever these are called. What's the word? Rika, please say, what's the word? And putting this to this another page, like this. Almost ready to go. Hello, Shaila. And then it gets just about here. I think I'm going to use uh, glue over here, but I'm adding it to last, then it gets to be dry. And now I'm taking these up. And just because someone said about the thread, I can't help myself. I need to add it more. Just a little more. Another layer of thread. Uh, There, then, da, 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 da. it actually looks better now that I add this one paper layer more. The frame thing looks more like frame. And these scraps away, but not too far. Then we need to do some embellishments. Where is my flower? Who took my flower? Okay, just a minute, ladies. If you hear some weird voices, it's my chair. Mitra, näkö vihreitä kukkaa lattialla? Ah, here it is. Too close. Uh, this shiny little flower from Prima. Uh, if you have seen my layouts, <laughs> you can tell that I'm not a big flower fan. But these are cute. These are um, light green or teal green. So these are cute. Okay, back. Where were you, Rika? Hello, Sofia. Welcome to to be here. So, adding the title, the tiny little feather, and this flower. But as I, if I put them like this, this will be quite boring. So, I can't help it, but I need to add something behind the flower. And this time it will be this thread. Also, if you have any lace or 
a piece of some cheesecloth or fabric or something, then use that. But I'm now using this uh, regular uh, crafting glue, uh, large amount, big amount of this, and then we are adding the tiny little feather there. You can add some 3D foams behind it or something. I actually saw a nice uh, tip or trick from one of my HipKit Club colleagues. They were using their uh, old uh, alpha stickers, those uh, thick stickers from American crafts or pebbles or something, and using them as 3D foam. How clever is that? I think it's the cleverest thing I've seen for a while. I'm putting that behind that you don't get that bright thing on your face. Then we are moving to tiny embellishment called Scrapperies uh, Adhesive Pearls. These are uh, scrapperies, but you can buy them from 30 nuts or some other store stores. Sila, why do you want to see the recording? Did I miss something? Yes, Karen, you should see the recording. I had some fun with this uh, mists and water, nothing more. So I'm adding these pearls here and there. I made mistake. I used one green. I should have used only teal green. Oh my god. I can take it off. I will take it off. Yes, let's put another one there. You can use liquid pearls or you can just uh, some diamonds or uh, anything to add a little sparkle here and there. Some glittery embellishment will do as well and then it's not finished yet don't go away so we need where is it some kind of uh, waste over paper to cover the picture like this but wait one thing uh, I'm using black marker. This is from Faber Castell, Bit Artist Pen, but any black marker will do. I'm doing some fine lining around these pearls. It kind of continues the... Nice, there is no glue behind this. Anyway, uh, it continues the stamping uh, pattern, not pattern, uh, it continues the black from the background to these paper layers. Another trick I'm doing a lot is that I draw some lines, these paper lines, like these. It gives a nice uh, detail and it's really relaxing. Just like those adult coloring books on trend now. I think it's quite relaxing even though it's not for me. Where did you come from? A little pearl jumped to my hand. This one wanted to be on my layout and her friend too. Okay, then I'm covering the picture. I actually want the flower to be visible right now because 
I want to add some color on it. I'm starting with white Aeda ink and adding also, sorry about the light, my head just <laughs> No word for this one. My head kolahti siihen. Mm. Okay. So these are Aieda inks. You can use this uh, cripping tool to make splashes, which I'm going to do now. This make quite big ones, so this is not for me. I'm using the other head of my paintbrush. Just flicking it. Of course, you can use mist. I will add some mist later. I want some big, big, big fat flashes over here. Voila. And white one. So what do we get if we mix the white and black? Haha! -ha. Gray! But gray will do here. So, the same trick. Like here. You can um, mix the ink first. And then some flicking. Again, so relaxing, so fun. This white really pops up from the uh, blue, blue areas on the background. But now, as you see, uh, the background is totally blue, like this. Uh, it's not light blue, but really uh, almost like electric blue. So that's why I'm adding some same blue to these um, paper layers to get it more smoothly and more nicely. Okay. I feel like I haven't done anything and when I saw the clock, it's almost 10 p.m. here in Finland. So I have taken my whole hour to do this layout. Now you probably can guess why I didn't add any stencil work to this layout. So I'm adding my favorite one, this London Blue, uh, as well. This flower wants to have some, some pops of blue mists. Like that. And then it's finished. Uh, I'm later gluing this wire thing. It actually sticks nicely now. As you see, no, you can't see. Anyway, it's three dimensional layout, <laughs> quite thick. And that's it. That's my layout for today. Let's see. I need to read that chat later. I'm turning the camera. Da, 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 da. That's Ikea Taulu from Ikea. That thing right there. And there is our kitchen and that uh, red rose from my husband. <laughs> he never bought me flowers, but today was a special day. Okay. Back to the business. Uh, thank you all for coming and thank you Karen and Riikka for having me. This was like the fourth time or something and you still want me to come so thank you. Uh, what it is in Japan? Mitra mikä japaniksi kiitos. Arigato. Thank you. Well anyway. Thank you and have a good night and have a good day and we'll see next week when I don't remember who's here but maybe Riikka, maybe Keren, maybe someone else, maybe some surprising 
um, new guest or something. Anyway, tune in next Monday and I will be there chatting with you and thank you for coming. I love you all. Stop.